What's up guys? I am Spencer and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming at you with the five books that will help you for self-improvement in your 20s. Now I should mention that this list is in no particular order. These are just a list of the five books that I found have helped me throughout my 20s and I hope can help you with your self-improvement journey. So, without further ado, we have book one. Thrive by Jason Navallo. Now this book is awesome because the thing is is that it serves as a jumping off point for your motivation. When getting into self-improvement, especially in your 20s, it's difficult to know where to start. But this book is essentially a compilation of people from the entertainment industry and entrepreneurs, bodybuilders, you name it. Kind of everyone and all their stories of success and how they overcame failure. Another benefit to this book is it's a pretty short read. It's about 100 to 150 pages if memory serves. And it's awesome because it can give you a little bit of insight into where you want to go with your life. Business, fitness, entrepreneurship, entertainment, acting, whatever. It's also awesome because there's a little bit of everything everything for everyone. Read it and give it a shot. It's a great jumping off point and I'd highly recommend it. So with Thrive out of the way, I'll now jump on to book number two, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Now Napoleon Hill is a really well respected author because of all his empirical evidence that back up all the things that he says in the book. Now you might read the title and think, okay, I get it. Mindset equals outcome, but he'll show you that it's not that simple. There's a lot of things that go into starting a business or becoming a more developed human being that he shows you firsthand in his book. Also, this book isn't new. This is a classic. It's considered the godfather of self-help books in a lot of industries, especially in entrepreneurship. But just read it and I guarantee that you'll have something to take away from it in all sectors of your life. Again guys, let me reiterate here that this book, Think and Grow Rich, is more geared towards the entrepreneur. It can be helpful for someone looking for just general self-improvement, but if you're looking for more spiritual improvement or things like that, this might not be the book for you. But with that being said, there is something in this book that I think everyone can take away and it's definitely worth a read, considering how many people have recommended it, especially those at the very, very top. So with that being said, book number two on my list is Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Now for book number three, we're sticking with the classics and I'm going to give you another book from the golden age of self-improvement, How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. Again, this book is highly recommended and it comes from, like I said, the golden age of self-improvement. The reason for this is because there's a lot of simple tips in there that you kind of forget along the way. Carnegie gives you tips everywhere from how to shake a hand to how to do a business deal to how to genuinely make a friend that you'll have for the rest of your life. For those of you that are interested in improving your interpersonal skills, this is probably the best book on this list. He goes into things like how to increase the likelihood of getting a favor from someone or how to get someone to actually like you when they're in a more powerful position than you are and you're trying to make a good impression. Another thing I want to mention about these goals golden age books is that none of them are very long. You can finish any one of these books in about a week if you actually read about a couple hours a day. Nothing too crazy. And they truly do contain a wealth of knowledge, especially how to win friends and influence people. This is one of the best books out there for self-improvement because it touches on so many different topics and so many different things and so many different walks of life. Now, I probably don't need to go through the benefits of how to win friends and influence people. Hopefully, you can see that those two skills are crucial. But Dale Carnegie goes into this crazy depth where he'll tell you all these different things. I highly recommend How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. Another reason why this book is awesome is because it teaches you things like how to write a good resume, but not just what to put on it, but the message you want to convey and the energy that you want to put into it so that the employer or potential employer can see that in you. Again, I don't need to tell you why this is an indispensable skill, but you obviously know that it is. People are looking for jobs, especially in their 20s. You're looking to begin your career here. It's worth reading this book, especially when you could finish it in a week with a little bit of effort. Now for the fourth book, I do have to mention this is definitely more tailored towards a specific kind of person. The kind of person that prefers to work smart rather than work hard. Something that the author of this book talks about a lot. This book is, of course, The 4-Hour Workweek by Timothy Ferris. Now, I've said this a lot, but again, this guy is truly a legend. He's written so many books about how to improve your life when it comes to how to diet or how to make more money or how to attract more people in your life. And his is a story that is truly inspirational, so I'd recommend that you read up about him. But in this book, The 4-Hour Workweek, he discusses how you can work smart instead of hard so that you can reduce your work week to four hours through various forms of outsourcing work to virtual assistants to setting up your online business and making money while you sleep. Again, this is definitely something that is tailored to a specific kind of person, but the tips that he goes over, just like in all the other books on this list, are indispensable. He starts off with the goal of teaching you how to work only four hours a week to make a full-time income and leaves you with a bunch of tips that will just leave your life in a better place. This is because he he begins to talk about this work ethic that is truly a new idea. Instead of going to work and exchanging your time for money, you work smart so that you can have an income while you sleep and while you do the things you enjoy so that you can work towards having a life where you're not pinned down to a specific geographic area and you don't need to wake up at a certain time. You can set your schedule for you. You are your own employer. You are your own employee. And he teaches you exactly how to do these things. So because of his interesting take on business and the revolutionary impact the four-hour work week has had on the entrepreneur world, I highly recommend you give this a read. You might just read it and get motivated to start the kind of business you never knew you wanted to start. So for that reason, the fourth place on this list goes to Tim Ferriss' Four Hour Work Week. All right, last and definitely not least, guys, we have Stephen Covey's Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. 
Now this book is unique because not only does it give you a biography of people that have really done well based on certain habits that they have, but Stephen Covey actually enumerates these habits for you. Rather than saying here's how this specific person succeeded, he looks more to here are the behavior patterns that people that have success typically display. Something quick to mention about this book is you absolutely can go online and look at the seven habits yourself and read a summary of what they are, but you would absolutely be doing yourself a disservice, guys. The reason why is because he goes into absolute detail about how these seven habits can be broken down into further habits and how you can implement them into your life and where they can take you if you do. There's not a whole lot more I can say about this book. The title pretty much describes exactly what it is, so I'll leave you just by saying that you absolutely should read this book because just like Dale Carnegie's How to Win Friends and Influence People, it's more of a broad-based book that can apply to anyone in different walks of life in different situations. Okay guys, so that's all I have for today. Those are the five books that I would recommend for self-development in your 20s. Yes, they are more geared towards the entrepreneur than they are to your average person, but there's definitely messages in each one of these books that anyone could take and apply to their life. As I've mentioned in some of my other videos, it's definitely worth finding time every single day to read because many successful people recommend that that's something you do. If you're looking for habits for highly effective people, let me just tell you this, reading is definitely one of them. So try and schedule some time, at least 20 minutes a day, where you can open a book and just begin to read. It's also worth mentioning that you don't need to go online to buy this book or go to a library or whatever. You can get it on Kindle, which is what I do. I personally use my iPad because that way I can screenshot any page that's relevant to me. I basically just highlight the screen, screenshot it, and then I can make a compilation of all the pages that stuck out to me so that whenever I forget any of the information in any of these books, I can simply go to an album I've made to do with the book and I have a little cheat sheet for all the information therein. Let me also just add that anyone at any age should definitely read these books, but the reason why I think these ones are good for self-improvement, specifically in your 20s, is because in your 20s you're looking to start a career, you're looking to make meaningful relationships, you're looking to go to school, continue education, so on and so forth. And these five books will definitely give you a broad spectrum of information that'll help you make these decisions that'll carry on for the rest of your life. Furthermore, these are books that I wish I read in my late teens at the beginning of my 20s so that I was able to use and implement this information as soon as possible. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you have any questions about any of the books, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I hope this video has brought you some value. Like, comment, subscribe. With that being said, thanks so much for stopping by. I am Spencer, and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs>